Using Raptor Cal to create a display is simple. In this case, we select New, Display, and then our module. And this will bring us to our display screen. Once here, dragging signals from the left will correspond to signals made in your model. Not every signal will be the same. Some will be vectors you can drag in that take up many columns. Others will be read-only so you can only see the number. Others will be editable, which will show up in a tan color, which you can click on, and then edit the number live through CAN. Dragging in one signal will bring the value over to your chart. You can bring the whole folder over to bring all the signals in that folder at once. Calibrations can be created using a module or a Raptor package file as a source. Here we are opening an offline calibration and selecting the correct RCAL file is always the first step. Next we have all the signals on the left from within the RCAL file. Clicking on these will open up the values, which you can view and edit. Saving this offline is a great way to work away from your system. Using this new file you can save it back onto your module and use the new values. Transfer calibration is a useful tool, taking RCAL and RPG files and combining them into one. This menu will show you the new calibrations when compared, the absent calibrations, all the valid transfers to combine, and the alerts. In this case, the alerts show up as change in units. This menu will also offer the option to set values before changing them over to their new file format. Compare calibrations is yet another useful tool within Raptor Count. This shows the unique calibrations between files A and B, the same calibrations that are shared between both files, and which ones are the same, but have different aspects. As you'll notice, the alerts that showed up in transfer calibration show up here as different calibrations, because of the difference in units. Transfer and compare calibrations both have the option to generate a report. Here's what one of the reports look like. They generate as a text file, so they are easily movable, and you can generate them on the go while testing your system.